Hey everyone, Ryan here from Best Face Forward. Today's video is going to be about tongue ties, and I'm going to tell you the story in a minute why I have recently become so fascinated about this. But just a spoiler, it's because I think that I have one. I have a partial tongue tie. So here's the story. One of my subscribers reached out to me and he asked me to look into tongue ties because he realized that he had one. So after I looked into it, I realized that I actually may have had one too and it's limiting my tongue's mobility to push up on the roof of my mouth. Then after doing some stretches for my tongue and exercises, it was so much easier for me to get my tongue on the roof of my mouth. I have to make a video on this. So I have a feeling that a lot of you guys subscribed to this channel may actually have a tongue tie as well, which could be causing a lot of your problems. I'm dividing this video up into three parts. First, I'm going to talk about what a tongue tie is and how it affects your face. Then I'm going to show you how to measure your tongue's mobility and how I measured mine and what I discovered when I did. And then finally, I'm going to show you the stretches and exercises that people do or myofunctional therapists do to help people who have tongue ties. And this is really the thing that blew my mind. So a tongue tie is exactly what it sounds like. Your tongue is essentially tied down to the floor of your mouth. So there's this thing called a frenulum or a frenum which runs along the length of your tongue. Essentially it is not supposed to be that restrictive but in a lot of people it actually does restrict the range of motion of your tongue. There are two tongue ties that are commonly talked about or known about, one more than the other. The first is an anterior tongue tie which means the front of your tongue is held down. Now if you have this it's probably pretty obvious and this is the tongue tie that is most often diagnosed by health professionals such as dentists myofunctional therapists etc there's a second type called the posterior tongue tie which is like it says in the back of your tongue restricting the back third of your tongue those of you who follow my channel or other mewing related channels you know how important the posterior third of your tongue is Just keep that in mind before we go forward here first what I want to talk about is how a tongue tie will affect the shape of your face. If you guys missed my last video, I'm gonna post it up here. The thing is, your tongue's strength has a big influence on your tongue's function. If your tongue is tied down to the roof of your mouth, your tongue loses muscle tone. Because of this, your tongue gets weak and it's not pushing up against your upper palate. Therefore, the things that we know happen when you have poor tongue posture, such as your maxilla collapsing, losing tone in the muscles of your jaw, will take place if you have a tongue tie or even a partial tongue tie. The doctor that my subscriber introduced me to is called Dr. Sarush Zaghi. Essentially, he's one of the leaders uh, in this field in terms of knowledge, at least in my opinion from what I've seen. He seems to really know what he's talking about. One of the muscles that Dr. Zarush talks about is your genioglossus. I've studied these muscles and talked about them before. So actually controlling the middle and back thirds of your tongue and pushing them up is largely determined by the function of your genioglossus. If your tongue is tied, this muscle cannot work properly, therefore it won't be able to push that tongue up where it's supposed to go. Now I'm going to show you how to actually measure this tongue tie. First thing I want you to do is open your mouth as wide as you can and then measure that gap. There's a special type of ruler that professionals use, but I think you can just use a regular ruler. And what I want you to do is do the same thing, but put your tongue up behind your front teeth when you open your mouth. You'll probably notice that you can't open it as wide. How wide you can open it is really the question. You take the range of motion of your tongue and you divide it by the total range of motion, and that is going to give you your mobility percentage. From that, you can determine which grade of tongue tie you are in. According to Dr. Zarush, 
only grades one and two, which is 50% or less, are typically diagnosed. But he thinks that if you even have a grade three or even a grade four, that your tongue mobility is compromised, which can impact your tongue's ability to push up on your upper palate, as I understand it. Right, now I'm gonna tell you really what happened to me last night that made me realize that this is such a big deal. I don't have a noticeable tongue tie. Like, I don't have an anterior tongue tie in the front of my mouth, so it's something that nobody would notice. I've been to myofunctional therapists, I've been to dentists, I've been to tons of great professionals who have not noticed this. Myofunctional therapists do stretches such as these where they stick your tongue out, stick it up as far as you can, or whatever. But what I would do is I would open my mouth as far as I could, and then really just stretch my tongue up and try to touch that spot, even though I couldn't touch it. When I would do this, I would feel that muscle stretching, after I closed my mouth, I realized that it had become easier for me to get the back of my tongue up. Now that it's like now I can strengthen my tongue properly because it has the mobility. I went to bed that night, my tongue posture felt completely different. Some of you know that I struggle with mouth breathing and have my whole life. It was easy for me to keep my mouth closed because my tongue posture had improved because of that mobility. But what am I saying? First of all, you may have a tongue tie and you don't know it. It may be a partial tongue tie. It may not be that problematic, but improving it could help you a lot. The second thing is, if you have a tongue tie that is more serious, you may want to consider getting the operation to have that tongue tie removed and I'll post more information in the future on that. I think that this is a really important topic. I'm glad that I made the video on it. It's been a lot of fun making this video for you guys. Thanks for subscribing to this channel. Please like it and comment your thoughts, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.